It's all right because we're live! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, I got the air yes. horn this time. Yes. I fixed it. Yes. We're live. We're here. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Welcome right. to the pre ish show because it's a little later than pre. But that's all right. We're still going to have some fun still. Are you ready to have some fun? Well, yeah. It's all right. You guys wanted to sleep in a little bit, anyways, yeah. right? It's 8 yeah. 30. You guys are ready. You're awake. You're awesome. We're going to get ready for something really awesome. Are you ready for something pretty awesome? Yes. All right. So, I first of all, I don't play games. Just to let you know. So let's play a game. <laughs> We're playing the game, oh, Mario Kart, but a little different. Mm. See, we have this thing right here called the Wheel of Torment. And the way this works is that we will have this wheel right here, and I gotta click it real quick. My mouth went on the other screen. We're almost there. We're getting there. Almost to the Wheel of Torment. Torment. Well, when we get to the Wheel of Torment, right, basically we'll click it and there are a bunch of different things that me and Pastor Malik had to do during Mario Kart. All right? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go hey. ahead and get this started. Wait. I don't play games. You don't play games? So let's play Mario Kart. All right, let's, let's play Mario Kart. Here All we right. Go. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So while you guys are watching, what if you guys pick some characters Mario that Pastor Malik and I A. should play in Mario Kart? Yes. Type in the chat. What character should I ride with? Yes. All right. Let's see it. Multiplayer, two players. We're gonna do a versus race. Just me and Pastor Malik. What do you guys think? We're all set. We're all set. We're gonna go ahead. I'll wait for a couple of your answers. I'm gonna go ahead and fix something real quick. I will be right. Who do you think I should be? Gold, pink gold peach? I've never even heard of that character. King Boo, ooh, King Boo. Uh, should I be Lakitu? Uh-oh, oh, spinning wheel. Oh no. What did it pick? I can't even read that. Who should I be, people? Come on. Toad? I think I'm gonna... Um, I think I want to get... Oh no. I think I should get Rosalina. What do you think? Rosalina? Yep. I like it. So you'll be Rosalina. I'm going to be Pink Let's Gold go. Peach. All right, and I'm just gonna do the car that's there. Yep, same here. And I don't know if you guys know this, me and Pastor Malik are champions at this. Ch -ch -ch We're going to do a race. No teams, normal items, all vehicles. Great. And we're going to do, of course, the hardest level. What's the hardest level? One? Rainbow Road. Oh, Rainbow Road. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right. So, this. the way this is gonna work, we have this, the Wheel of Torment, really quick. So we're gonna be playing, and you guys are gonna be guessing a number while we play, all right? It's gonna be a number between one through 10 that I'll be guessing. And if you guys guess that number, we're gonna pause the game, we're gonna click this wheel, and there'll be a couple of things that are gonna mess us up during the game. So example could be that we have to play Ooh, head, head shoulders, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. while playing the game. Uh-oh which is not easy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play this game and see who wins. I like All right, are you ready? Toes. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm good. All right, let's get started. All right, let's know who's watching right now. Go ahead and put in the comments what you're what, who, where you're watching from, who you watching with. Are you eating Cheerios? Are you eating Cheerios? That's yeah. a good one. Yeah, that's a real one. I'd be eating Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios? I'm a Cocoa Puffs kind of guy. Oh my gosh. Well, Cinnamon Life. If you're a Cinnamon Life person, put that in the chat. If you're All a Cinnamon right. Life person, please put that in the chat. Rosalina, we're about to do work. All right. Oh and my gosh. <laughs> Go ahead. Buddy Lizard. 
Guess the number between 1, one and, and 10. There we go. Oh, and I fell off. Yeah, passing the leakers in the LG. Oh, no! Alright. I see some good guesses down there. You know, the first time I played this game. Yeah. Three, oh, no! The brick dropped on me. This is the first time you played this game? This is the third time. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that'd be why you're in eighth place. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. I just saw somebody put one up. All right. So, that got the number, which means that we spin the wheel. Are you ready? All right. All right. So. And it is. All right. So now we have to chug an entire bottle of water. Well, you got to wait until we start the game. And then we have to chug. All right. All right, are you Here ready? Here we go. I'm gonna win this. All right, ready. Since I can't beat him at three, part. two, one, go. Get out of here. Go. Oh, I was going backwards. No. What? Oh no. Okay. This is so We're far going. Uh oh. Miss Tammy, I love how many bunches of those, by the way. You know, oh, no. when I was oh, younger, no. I thought that was like a little kid, I'm a, an old person talk, uh, cereal. Oh no. It, it's but it's really good. It's really, it's surprisingly good. Like, My mom tricked me one time and I ate it and I was like, what is this? I want more. I'm in front of Pastor Frank It's together. all that kind of food. Was good for you to taste it like that? I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. All right. Make it a oh! Man, that's the league is actually beating me. Which is rare, y'all. Uh-oh. All I'm right. In first oh, place. Someone got the answer down again. All right. Oh, so no. we're gonna go ahead, spin this wheel. Are you ready, Pastor Malik? Let's do it. All right. Let's give you the next games. challenge. Oh, we're gonna do another one. A different oh. one. Because we just chug. Unless you unless you need some moisture. I I'm not gonna say. All right. So now, until someone calls another number, we have to play with the controller upside down. Okay. All right, are you ready? I am not. All but... right, neither am I. I don't even remember which button to start. Okay. Oh no. Oh wait, okay. I got it down. Oh, it's backwards. Oh no! I was gonna win. I need a bullet. You just do it for me. Take that, I'm in second place. How are you in second place? Because I'm awesome. Oh, hey, Pastor Lori. Hey, fun, fun fact. Hey guys, if you just joined, we're playing a game. You have to answer between one and 10. If you guess the number, we have to follow something on the Wheel of Torment. Please answer the answer because this is very hard. Fun fact, I call Pastor Lori mom, and I win! Upside down, people, look at this. Look at this, wait, 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 wait. right there, camera. Upside down. Wow, and you got first place. Yeah. First yeah. place. I don't play games. You know, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> I don't think you actually, this is your first time playing. Or third time playing. It's my third time playing. Third time playing. Third time. Impressive. Life is no joke, man. It's not a game. It's All right. Let's do one more race. All right. Listen, this isn't for the faint of heart. No. No, you gotta be a champ. All right. You wanna do another hard one? Yeah, let's do another hard one. All right. This is another hard one. What track High is rule this? Towel. This is a hard one. I know it looks like it may be not hard, but you'll see. It's what? per hard. <laughs> oh, I. I don't even know what this is. Yeah. All right, so guys, you now have to guess between the numbers of one and five. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make okay. it easier for y'all. Okay. Here we go. Spinning Wheel of Death. How do you get that start that you did? 
you go down on two. Pass the break. Oh no! I'm sorry. Hold on one second. I know. I'm that guy. What guy are you? I needed to turn this stuff off. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I just missed my show. No. Oh, pass the break. Oh! Bat. Guess who's winning now? Guess who's bat? Bat again. Get it? Because instead of back. All right. All right. Take that. I see some good answers. Oh. All right. Someone got the answer. All right. Whoops. Okay. So we're gonna go back to this wheel of torment. Are you ready, Pastor Malik? I'm ready. All right. Let's see what it is. Chug a bottle of water. All right. Are you ready? Ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Let's go. Woo! Ow! I'm in seventh place. No! I somehow stayed in fourth. Pass the break. It's also a very long one. Sure. All right. Oh, I'm going to keep so going. If you guys just joined, we're playing a game. If you guys pick an answer between one and five, one and of five. the number we're thinking, you guys take that. Will make us have a terrible torment that'll make it hard for us to play this game. What place are you going to have? Oh, I'm right seeing some good answers, but I don't see the number yet. Oh, I'm in first place. Oh no! Yes! Was that you? That was me! That I'm in second place. The rudest thing. Hey, I'll, I'll pray for you later. Oh! Took him out, y'all! I never thought this day would come. The no. day that you lost! <laughs> oh no! There's yeah, one more there's one more. I know this oh, is a long one. No. It's a long one. Oh, okay, someone got it. All right, so we're gonna go back to this. We're gonna go to this and see torment. what our next torment is. Oh, I can't even read that. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So while we're playing, we have to play head, shoulders, knees, and toes while we're doing it and like sing the whole song. All right. Are you ready? I'll sing it like Louis Armstrong. You're gonna sing it like Louis Armstrong? Yeah. All right. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. This is not easy. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. All right. All right. That was awesome. Woo! I'm in first place. You know, it seems easy. But singing head, shoulders, knees, and toes while trying to drive is not easy. Yeah, I you shouldn't not do that while that. driving. This is, we're professionals. Yeah, this is our job. We're professionals. Just to let you know, I don't play games. Oh no, Pastor Frank's right behind me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat the banana, Pastor Frank. Is there a shortcut? I didn't take it. I should have. And we got second place. All right. You just lost to Rosalina. Twice. Twice. That was good. Pastor Malik, I think you're actually, I think you're actually tricking me. I think you're actually better than you think you are. I think I tricked myself. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys did? Did you guys enjoy that? Make sure if you guys enjoyed that, put what we could play name, another game we could play during our pre-show. But we're gonna go ahead and start service. Are you ready, Pastor Malik? We're ready. All right, let's go ahead and start service.
Hey guys, it's Pastor Malik here, and we are in our new series, Indescribable. Yes, like you see all these things floating, you see a satellite floating around, you see planets and the moon. We are talking about creation, but actually, we're actually talking about creativity this month for the month of August. And creativity is just this. It is imagining what we can do because God created us in his image. Now, I know you're thinking, well, what does that mean? He didn't create us to look like him, really. He, it, let me explain it like this. If you are creative and you create something, what about like a drawing? In your own imagination, you've drawn this drawing to your own image. That is what you envisioned in your mind and you put it on paper or on a canvas. Or imagine what God has done with creation around us. He imagined trees and these things called leaves on the trees and every year they fall off and they grow back and then there's seeds and all types of different things. Or what about grass? Think about this. Grass is pretty much indestructible. You can set grass on fire, but it grows back. Isn't that crazy? That was all from the mind of God and his creativity. And so this month we are going to get into the creativity of who we are in the Bible. We're going to back it up with a little bit of science, too, and you can buy a book called Indescribable that goes with our series. It's actually 100 days of devotions that you can read with your parents that actually has science and creation in the Bible mixed in together, and it, it creates great conversation. So, guys, we are actually going to have a good service. We're going to have a little bit of worship. Pastor Frank is going to give a great message. So, hey guys, I want you to do something real quick. I want you to stand up real quick, get ready for worship, and I will see you right after this video. Bye, guys.
with one more stroke of my Sharpie. Voila, magnifique. My self-portrait is complete. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh. Hey guys, didn't see you there. It's me, Jacob. Wait until you see my masterpiece. It's, in a word, indescribable. Oh, wait, can you tell which one is even the real me? It, yeah, we even have, we have the same smile. Okay, maybe painting's not my thing, but that doesn't mean I'm not filled with creativity. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you were made in God's image. So even though I may not be a very gifted portraitist, clearly, I am still a masterpiece. I'm smiling mysteriously because no one knows I put salt in the sugar bowl. <coughs> but really, I'm a masterpiece because I was made by God. And you know what else? You are a masterpiece because you were made by God. The creator of the entire universe took the time to paint you. And you are unique. You have unique fingerprints and toe prints and a unique tongue print. So what does that mean for you now that you know you're a masterpiece. What do we do now? You'll find out in today's story. See you in a few. Oh, you're leaving. Okay, I'll just hang here on the wall because I'm just a, a painting. Okay, this is this this is getting creepy, right? Is this creepy or funny? No, it's creepy. This is creepy. I'm sorry. This is creepy. Hey guys. My name is Frank and I'm the online children's pastor. Guys, I hope you've had some fun with our service so far. If you guys watched the pre-show or during show during this service, I hope you guys had fun watching me, Pastor Malik, have fun. Guys, as Pastor Malik was just talking about a couple seconds ago, we are talking about our new series called Indescribable. And it's an amazing series. And in fact, we're talking about this devotional right here, right here. Let me turn it a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. It's indescribable. And what it's just talking about is a hundred different devotions that you can do as a family together, talking about God's creation story and science and how that works together. And it is great. And it's been an awesome service. And if you guys are actually watching right now, if you guys put a comment down during this entire service, one person from this weekend will get one of these for free. So make sure you guys put a comment down there. You can say anything um, down there. And so, before I start my lesson, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about what we're talking about this month. So let's go ahead and see on the screen what we are talking about this month. We're talking about creativity. And we're talking about imagining what it would be, imagining what, sorry, imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. Imagining what you could do because you are made in God's image. And we've had a lot of awesome things talk about creativity, right? In the last couple of weeks. But I thought I would go over just a couple of ideas of what creativity really means. Or maybe like who you would think is actually creative. So I have a list of people I'm gonna look at really quick. You tell me in the comments, who's more creative? Are you ready? All right, so first one is this. LeBron James or Jimmy Fallon? So Jimmy Fallon, you know, does like the late night show. LeBron James basketball player. Who do you think is more creative out of the two? Go ahead and put that in the comments. All right, next one. Pablo Picasso or Serena Williams? So which one do you think out of both of those is more creative? Pablo Picasso or Serena Williams? Pablo Picasso, artist who painted a lot of things. Serena Williams is a tennis player. Go ahead and put that in the comments. Next one, Tom Brady or Lecrae? Who do you think is more creative? Tom Brady the football player, or Lecrae, the artist. Taylor Swift, the musician, or Michael Jordan, basketball player. What do you think? That's a pretty hard one. I got another one for you guys. 
What about Dwayne Johnson or Caleb Miller, our worship pastor here at Compass? Who do you guys think is the more creative one? And the last one I have is, I can't, I don't know if I can say his name, Shigeru Miyamoto, the guy that created the Mario Brothers. Or Mark Zuckerberg, the guy who created Facebook. Who do you think is more creative? It's a good one. Michael Jackson, that's a really good comment right down there. I like Michael Jackson. That's a pretty good one. That's a couple of ans good answers down there. And so, you know, a lot of times when we think about creativity, right? We think about maybe the person that was the artist or maybe someone that created a sculpture or maybe like someone that creates something, right? But God has a lot different idea of what creativity is. Let's go ahead and look at our scripture. We're going to be in Ephesians. We're going to be open up my Bible app right here. If you guys have your phone, you can look up on your Bible app. You also can pull up your Bibles as well. We're going to be in Ephesians. We're going to be in chapter 2. We're going to be in verse 10. If you guys don't have your Bibles, don't worry. I'll have it on the screen right over there. It says this. It says, we are God's creation. Whoops, I'm in the wrong version. Sorry about that. We are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. We are God's creation. He created us to belong in Christ Jesus. We can do, we, uh, now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared those for us. And so this is a, an interesting idea, right? Because it says what? It says that the we are God's creation. Now, does it say that the artist are God's creations? Does it say that does it say that the sculptures are God's creation? No, it says everybody's God's creation. And because we're God's creation, we can be creative through Christ Jesus. Let me give you guys a couple of examples of situations where you might have not thought of someone being creative. But actually, creativity is one of the most amazing things because of that. Here's the first one. Are you guys ready? So we're going to start with this girl. Her name is Jessie. And Jessie is like the best at math, right? So she's like, if you guys ever need any math homework or math problems or math anything, you guys would go to her. And so one day... She was walking down uh, in her downtown city, and she realized that the community center down there was doing not really great. They were losing a lot of funding. And so she got creative, and she used God, her God-given creativity to do something amazing. She used her math skills to make a fundraiser so they could raise money to help out that um, area. Isn't that amazing? That she was able to use her creativity to do something awesome like that. Let me give you another example. So there's Johnny, right? Johnny is really, really, really good at being friends. Like, Johnny's like the one that everyone likes. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like the guy that's at your school or on your team that like is just the nicest guy. Everyone wants to hang out with him. And he's like the coolest dude ever, right? His talent is that he's just an awesome friend. So one day Johnny, again, is walking downtown and he sees that there's just trash everywhere. He looks to his left and he sees cups and tires and all of this junk just everywhere. So he uses his creativity and he gets creative and he decides, I'm gonna get a bunch of people together and we're going to clean up the downtown area. So guess what he does? He gets all of his friends around. They go and clean up the downtown area and because people love him so much, they rallied behind him and he had a massive amount of people helping him out. That's awesome, right? A talent you wouldn't think that you could be creative and use for God ended up being an amazing, powerful thing that you could use for God. 
I got one more one really quick. So, this is a girl named Mercedes, right? Now Mercedes, she is like a really good writer. Like, I mean, she could write like essays and papers and books and books and books. And one of her favorite things to do is to write poetry. And in fact, her grandmother loved her poetry so much that she would actually make her read it to her every single night before she went to bed. And eventually, her mother had passed away, her grandmother had passed away. And she, but she wanted to use that talent she had to help people. And so she used that and she went to the local nursing home and she passed out her poems to all of the residents there so that the joy that she could give to her grandmother, she gave to her grandmother, she could give to so many other people. So in all these situations, we see people who are using these talents that don't really seem like they could do a lot, but they are used for amazing things. Let's look at that verse again one more time. It says this, it says that we are God's creation. He created us to belong in Christ Jesus. Now we can do what? Good works. We can do good works. When we're part of God's family, he gives us the Holy Spirit. And with that Holy Spirit, we can do amazing things. He gives us so many talents that we have and we can use those talents for his glory, for his good works. And that reminds me of our bottom line for this week. Our bottom line says this, it says that God created you so you can be creative. God created you so you could be creative. God didn't create John, created uh, the first person, Jesse, so that she could be creative with her math skills. God created John so that he could be a good friend and rally people for good things. And God created Mercedes so she could use her talent to love people who might not be able to see other things. God has given us all amazing talents and we can use our creativity to show others about God. So this week I challenge you guys, find what your talent is. Your talent might not be making a picture. It might not be making music, but use your creativity that God has given you, figure it out and use it to love other people. So we'll go ahead and let's pray. Everyone look at the ceiling, look at the ground, Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this awesome message talking about creativity. God, I pray as we go out this week and we're going back into our lives that we can be creative, that we can use the talents that you have given us for your glory. God, I pray that we can figure out what our talents are and we can find amazing ways to show others about your love. I thank you and I praise you for who you are. In Jesus' name, everyone says, amen. All right, guys. Again, really quick, I just want to let you guys know about this awesome indescribable devotional. You guys can pick it up on Amazon. Just look up indescribable 100 devotions about God and science. It's an amazing devotional. Again, if you guys put a comment down in the comments this weekend, we're going to be picking a few people to send these out to every single week during this message. So make sure you guys put a comment down during the service. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next thing. Bye guys. The Apostle Paul wrote, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. Whoa, that's a lot. We are God's creation. Yeah, we covered that. You are a masterpiece of God, created in His image. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus.
We were created to have a relationship with God. And that's only possible because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So, what do we do now? Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. Now we can do good works. You were created, designed, and shaped to use what God has given you to do good things and love other people. The question is, how will you use your creativity to do that? Maybe you're an artiste, or maybe you're creative in some other ways. You can solve a complicated math problem, or design the best doghouse ever, or you're a peacekeeper, and you can creatively help people work through an argument. There are so many different ways to be creative, and I know you're creative, because God made you in His image, and no one's more creative than Him. So here's the thing to remember today. God created you so you can be creative. If you know where you're most creative, find ways to use your creativity to do good things. Make people happy or make a difference in the world. If you're not sure where you're creative, you just gotta look a little bit closer. Think about what you like to do. Or ask a parent or someone you trust what creative things they see in you. And no matter what, ask God to show you how to use your creativity in the best way. Be the masterpiece he created you to be. I reckon that's about all there is to say about that. I reckon you're right. I wonder if I could use this pitchfork here to roast three marshmallows at the same time. I'll see you next time, I reckon. Hey guys, wasn't that an awesome message? Isn't that, wasn't that just cool? Pastor Frank did an awesome job. Hey guys, real quick, inside of our chat right now, go ahead and type, what was your favorite part of the lesson? And hey guys, make sure that you check out Indescribable. You can actually buy the book on Amazon. You can buy this book on Amazon, and what it is, is a devotional for 100 days, where you can start out in the morning having conversations and finding out things about the Bible and creation at the same time. So guys, we had a bunch of fun with you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Join us next week. Bye guys.